What up YouTube, it's Canadian Waiver, back with another video, and today I'm going to touch on a subject that was brought to my attention on Instagram by one of my followers. How often do you comb out your waves, and what are the benefits? So I'm going to show you how I comb my waves and touch on the benefits of why it's necessary to comb your pattern out to help with your progression. Let's get right into that video. Ain't nobody wanna put a time in I've been in the stool straight grinding Bitch trying to do me like a Simon's dog Flying in the motherfucking pilot dog Fucking with the vibe, you could try it dog I'm the best motherfucker I can recall Trust me when I say it ain't bias dog Talk shit, you gon' get silenced dog Talk shit, you gon' get silenced dog You want to follow along with me this video i'm gonna be using a ys park carbon comb with a wide tooth and fine tooth side the second comb i'm gonna be using is a red by kiss carbon comb this is if you have shorter hair and then the last comb i'll be using is a ys park teasing comb this one has three layers of teeth great for when you're wolfing all right, you know what it is. First thing first, we're gonna unrag, take a look at our pattern, and see where we stand before we start our session off. Just know I've been putting some serious brushwork in. Now I'm gonna use my favorite oil, my Canadian growth oil. I'm still waiting on some testers before I finally release this one to the public. Stay tuned. Starting off, I'm going to use my wide tooth comb. I'm just trying to lift everything off the scalp, making sure I have no snags along the way as I distribute that oil and the natural sebum that's in my hair. This part is really about going with your pattern. You want to make sure you're hitting those same angles you brush with. You're just trying to lift everything off the scalp. This is great to lift your hair off the scalp, especially if you've been compressed for a while. You don't want to be causing any unnecessary issues in your pattern. I'd also touch on back combing, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that when I do a wash and style video for you. All right, bear with me here as I get situated. I'm just trying to give you the best angle possible as I comb these forks on the top of my pattern. As you can see, I'm combing these forks to an angle slightly to my left as I'm trying to disturb the forks to either line them up or push them out of my pattern. Correct the flow issue. Same thing as before, but now with the fine tooth comb, I'm just trying to correct that flow issue by going with the flow of my pattern. Next thing, with the fine tooth red by kiss comb, I'm just attacking any little discrepancies along the hairline. So that could happen from tying your do-rag improperly or just getting careless in the washing style. Same thing on my left side, I'm just attacking any discrepancies. I'm going for a flawless pattern, so my goal is to fix any issue along the way. The same thing with this fork behind my left ear. I'm just trying to disturb it as much as possible with the fine tooth red by kiss comb. And last is that taper area by my do-rag line. I want those waves all the way down to the taper. Back waves do matter when you're going for a flawless pattern. 
repetition, repetition, repetition. I'm going back in with the Wyatt Park fine tooth comb to disturb those forks on my top again. As I said, I'm going with the flow of the pattern as opposed to going the direction the waves are currently flowing. I'm trying to correct the issue. And my last comb, I'm going to be using this YS Park Tri-Tooth Teasing Comb to hit those same angles again. I'm trying to keep this comb as flat as possible to utilize all three layers of the comb. Depending on the length of your session, you also want to go in and comb your crown with a wide tooth comb and then follow up with a fine tooth comb as long as you're being delicate. The last thing you want to do is cause damage to your scalp in the crown. If you missed any of the combs or products used in this video, the links will be in the description below. Well that's it, that's my intro to combing. After that, I'm gonna go in with my Royalty 711 hard brush, follow up with my Royalty 717 medium brush, and then last is my Royalty 713 soft brush to end my session off. If this video helped you out, let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, I'm gonna get this session in, so make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and tune in for the next video. We out of here.